All right, so here we have a 2D map of uh, Pittsburgh, a uh, point area with some building footprints over top of some orthophotography. So what I would like to do is make a 3D scene out of this object that's draped over an elevation surface and we have the buildings extruded to, to a height. Okay, so um, first off we need to create a scene. We could do that from scratch or we could do it um, by making a copy of a map object. So we're going to do it the second way. So um, if we go to map, search, view, ah, it's under view. So view and then convert. So we want to do to a local scene because this isn't you know, like a global map. So to local scene. And that generates a 3D version of that map once it, uh, once it draws here. OK. So first off, let's see if it makes sense. So I'm going to expand this and rotate it. OK, yeah, so it looks like it's already being draped over top of um, the elevation surface. So we can see like the elevation rise here around like the uh, Mount Washington area. One thing we don't have yet is uh, some 3D extruded buildings. So let's see if we can get that to work. All right, so to do that, we need to click on a layer. We click on this Pittsburgh Buildings layer. And then that's under Appearance. So we want to do, um, I believe it's max height for this. And we need to pick a field to extrude relative to. And that's going to be this max M field, which is the height in meters. So let's see. That looks reasonable. So yeah, so we have our buildings extruded out to a height um, scaled relative to that attribute field, which held the elevation or height of the building. OK, so that looks fine. Again, if you want to do some more detailed um, 3D models, you could go in and uh, remove these objects and replace them with like a 3D model of the building. Uh, you could play around with texturing the buildings. Um, this is just showing you simply how to make a quick little 3D scene. Um, another thing you can do when you have a map and a scene that show the same data is that you can link them. So if you go to View, I believe. Yep, so Link Views. And then we'll do center, um, we'll just do center and scale for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to split these so we can see them both at once. So now if I move one, it moves the other. Um, if I zoom in and out, so they're maintaining consistent scales between the two maps and then also uh, the same centers. And that works no matter which of the two you're moving. And let's say that you want to turn that off, then you just simply go up here to None. And now, if we move it, the other one doesn't move along with it. OK, so that's a quick example of just making a simple little 3D scene from a 2D map and then also linking them as you, for, for center and scale.